Okay, it's day 38 of doing at least one mile a day every day. Today is day 38. I'll put the camera on. We'll get going. Ranger's out, he's already eaten today. Good boy, huh? Enjoying the sun. All right, get going. Be back in a minute. Nice and sunny today. The rain has ceased after a three day. Let me start the timer here. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. I'm gonna do at least 1.15 today. So put in your guesses, we'll see what it is at the end. A little bit windy, nice and sunny. Look at the blue sky, a few clouds. After raining and flooding for three days, it's over. And the sun has come out. A little windy, you hear the wind, but I'll take the wind over that flood of rain for three days. You want to see those videos the last couple days. <clears throat> I had to get an umbrella out. It was horrible. Yesterday I walked out of my shoe shoe fell apart just as I started the walk I had to go back in and get another shoe it was unbelievable umbrella blew inside out two days ago it blew inside out about eight times on the walk oh my gosh it was unbelievable yesterday yesterday I saw that craner stork again like the fifth time every time it rains he's over in that field just about every time so can never get very close to him though. I can go a little bit different route today. I haven't gone this way in a while. We'll put the uh, guess for the number of dogs today. You probably won't see a lot. Put it at uh, two and a half. Maybe see two. I've already seen one cat, Ranger. But I don't know. We may see one more cat. But yeah, that that flooding was awful to walk in the rain two days in a row the only thing good thing is it wasn't really that cold it's probably like 60 it's probably about what it is today just sunny so it feels a little bit warmer but uh if i didn't have the channel i'm sure i would not have gotten out and walked the last two days so kept the streak alive Today is day 38, at least one mile a day, every day, for 38 days in a row. Well, let me know uh, how many days in a row you've walked or what your goal is. If you're trying to do a mile a day or half a mile a day or a mile every other day. Write it down in the comments section. Keep me updated what your goal is if you're just getting started write down your goal they say people with written goals are 10 times more effective in keeping their goals and people to just think about it so give somebody else a thumbs up if you see somebody else writing down their comments and definitely going to do at least another 30 days so to get up to at least 60 days in a row see how it goes from there but so far so good they said with the channel I've been motivated to get out every single day. 38 days in a row, even if it's raining, flooding, no snow. So let me know if you've had to walk in the rain or the snow or get up, walk in the dark, walk at night, keep the streak alive. See what we see today. I always see something interesting. It's a quiet little street. I don't come down here too often. The motorcycle. Let's see what this is. 
it's uh well i don't know what it is c c something 500 f i don't know let me know if you know what that is i don't know what it there's a cat meow meow say if you blink with a cat and he blinks back then he's friendly if he doesn't blink back then he's not coming over Kitty, kitty. He is not blinking. Not blinking at all. He is not coming over. Meow. There he goes. Well, he did blink. He's not moving. He's just adjusting. He's not scared, but he's not coming over. Say if he uh, if they blink and put their tail up, and they're they're friendly. But if they don't blink, this is an old some kind of. This looks like a 30s car here. It's some big sidewalls. I don't know what it is. And they got an old Chevrolet truck in the back. Can't see it too well. Looks like it's from the 60s. I don't know what this car is. They got covered up. Maybe from the 40s? Hard to tell. The big white walls on it's uh, probably from the 40s, the way it looked from the tires. Couldn't really tell. I don't walk down the street too often, every now and then. Quiet little street. It's a nice looking Mercedes. Later year model. AMG. V8 Turbo. That's a big engine. GT63. I don't know too much about it, but it sounds expensive. Pretty sunny today, it's some clouds in the sky, but no rain. You want to see those from the rain, walking in the rain, check out the last two videos. I want to know if you've ever seen the rain coming down. Quiet on this little cul-de-sac here. There's nobody around. See nobody and one cat. No dogs. And no delivery vehicles. I don't know if we'll even see one of those today. Usually the other route we'll see uh, two or three every day. Down heading towards the beach, but I don't know if we'll even see one today. I'll put the over under it a half. Quiet, quiet little cul-de-sac. See what's going on over here. Anything more? It's got a pot of gold up here for St. Patrick's Day, I guess. I don't know. A pot with it spilled out. Decorative purposes of some sort. I don't know if that's gold or not. It's like gravel. Huh, there's a squirrel. See if he comes over. Nope, he's heading away. Up the tree. Sometimes they come over when I call them. Not that one. You got a snowman still on their porch. Drive past a new year and Valentine. 
Valentine's Day. And nothing even for St. Patrick's Day or Easter. I haven't seen anybody decorating for Easter yet. St. Patrick's Day be first on my uh, when I'm recording this video. Still a month out from St. Patrick's Day. I get this up, I guess uh, publish it. St. Patrick's Day will have already come and gone. Walk over here. I never will be on our way to Easter. It's it to be about Easter time. Ever walk down this little cul-de-sac over here before walk down there and maybe cut back up and walk around the block see what we see down this cul-de-sac like i said look down this cul-de-sac i never walk down it it's short just a few houses seven or eight Yard light there looks kind of neat. Imagine it lights up at night. Yeah. It's a quiet little street here. A nice door. on this little cul-de-sac. There's a reason I haven't walked down here before. It's kind of a quiet little street. A little bench on their porch. already at a half a mile no umbrella today no rain we'll see what's going on up here Walk around the block, I guess. The sign says, No dogs allowed in park. And not really much of a park. I bet a lot of dogs go in there. Grass. There's not much grass around. There's a bike somebody's painted blue put in the yard is decorative I guess and they got a boot hanging from the tree with a plant coming out of it and a bunch of bottles eclectic all right I guess we'll turn up this way go see what we see up here Make the turn, head back. Should be about 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back. It's a mall parking lot, like empty. Parking garage has no cars that I see. Wow. Nobody goes to the malls anymore. Everybody buys everything online. Amazon. It's a movie out 
40 years ago fast times at Ridgemont High and the opening scene was at the mall as a the mall they used for that movie was Sherman Oaks Galleria I remember what they called it in the movie but I've been to that mall here uh, where they shot it and I'm not sure if it's they redid it or if it's still there anymore walk through this parking lot see if we see any cars and neat looking cars but these are probably all normal cars somebody sitting in their car I haven't seen that in a little bit always somebody sitting in their car not much lately especially when it was raining oh we can't get out down here maybe we can't <laughs> but anyway that movie uh was that 82 i think with sean penn playing jeff spicoli that was a huge movie in the day a lot of can't get out over here oh i gotta walk all the way around that was useless <laughs> but he said he based that character off his Sean, Piccoli, uh, Sean Spicoli off friends and he had in Malibu uh, Mr. Rand uh, and uh, one specific guy that he based it out after and he said that uh, I saw an interview with him a couple years ago we, they asked him about the guy he based the character off of and he said uh, one day he was coming up from the beach in Malibu and he passed this guy he had a family with him a couple of kids his wife and the guy passed by and he's and he and he said hey Sean and he didn't recognize him at all and the guy looked normal and like I said, family and everything, and it turned out to be the guy he based uh, Jeff Spicoli on, and he couldn't believe it, that he turned out so normal and everything. He said it was shocking to him. But that was, that was an interesting movie. Mr. Hand. Yeah, the teacher and Mr. Hand. He ordered a pizza. from the classroom had the pizza delivered to Mr. Hand's class. He was just sitting there and had the pizza brought to him in the classroom and Mr. Hand did not care for that too much. But Cameron Crowe wrote that movie, he didn't direct it. Amy Heckerling directed it, first movie she directed out of graduating from AFI, but Cameron Crowe had actually gone back to I guess undercover to a school I don't know which school it was near San Diego uh, I don't know if he was there for a whole year or six months or three months in San Diego and went undercover as a high school kid and that was the movie the book he wrote was about uh, all the kids he met there while he was there but obviously they didn't know he wasn't in high school he was older he just looked really young and uh, it was all the characters were basically based around the real life characters, real life people he met in the, while he was there at school. Is it Oceanside? I'm not sure. <laughs> but as soon as the movie came out, all the kids knew exactly which character was there. <laughs> they said they all knew right away. So he just changed the names, but everybody knew who it was. But check it out if you've never seen the movie, Fast Times at Richmond High. Sean Penn's done a lot of movies since then, but that's still like his most memorable movie for me. All right, point nine already.
nice and sunny. Seeing that ranger, orange cat, squirrel, really any, we saw that one older vintage truck, but we couldn't see it that well. We saw that car covered up from the 30s, I think, but 40s, I couldn't really see what it was. Walk this way occasionally, but usually don't see a lot of dogs or older cars or anything. Sometimes, Let's see if there's anything in this parking lot. Nope. Saw that blue bike in somebody's yard. They just painted it blue in a boot. With uh, some kind of plant growing out of it. did a mile at 1.15 today. Let's see what the gas price is today. 519. 529 with a credit card. This gas is ever coming down again. Luckily, I don't drive very much. I think last year I drove 3,000 miles. Not much. Right. Hey, we'll walk. Nah, I never seen it. famous songs in that Fast Times at Ridgemont High the opening sequence like I said was at that mall Ridgemont I don't remember the mall obviously the high school was Ridgemont High but they opened the, this movie with uh, We Got the Beat by the Go-Go's which was a super popular song at that time Comment below if you saw that movie in the theater. I remember going to see it in the theater. Super popular at the time. And I think, I don't remember, I, either the year before or the year after. Uh, uh oh, car's coming behind me. Gonna get run over. Look out! <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not from here. Uh huh. And then my cell the battery is down. I, I, I don't have GPS. Where I can take the freeway? Oh, the freeway? I go to Los Angeles. Uh huh. Turn right at this stop sign. What? Right there? Yeah, just turn right and you go about a mile and you'll see the 405. 405 what? North. North. Okay. Yeah, real easy. Just take one right and go about a mile. You see the 405 north. Okay. I make it right here mm -hmm. and then? Just go a mile uh -huh. and you'll see the sign 405 north. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ooh. Had a little bit of an accident, I'd say. Now he's going to back up. I better watch out. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, so, Sean Penn, either the year before or the year after, I want to say it was the year before, he did the movie Taps with uh, Tom Cruise. And that was a radically different role than he played in <laughs> Fast Times. So, Taps was a really good movie too. I remember seeing that in the theater. Kind of forget Tom Cruise was in that. He played a, uh, it was about a military 
military school, Tom Cruise was a basically a warmonger. And uh, Sean Penn was in that. He was much, much different than he was in Fast Times. You wouldn't even know his character from uh, Taps and Jeff Spicoli. You wouldn't even know it's the same person. I think it was, I think he was, Taps was a year before. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. It's either the year before or a year after, and I think it was a year before. But that was one of uh, Tom Cruise's first big movies. That was back when he used to go to the movies all the time. Like every weekend we went to see a movie, high school. But let me know if you've seen both those movies or one of them, or if you've happened to see them in the theater. I've been waiting to see uh, the second Top Gun. I know it's already out on the streaming channels, but I wanted to see it in the theater. And I haven't been yet. Now I have to wait till it comes back. Maybe they'll show the double feature of both Top Guns. I can see the second one again, that second one. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet. Well, that's about it, almost back home. cat one squirrel zero dogs I think that's a record no dogs and uh, Ranger if you count him I'm gonna do about one and a quarter today and a lively discussion about fast times at Richmond High <laughs> All right, 123, almost there. Nice today. No delivery trucks, just a quiet walk. Barely saw any people. Did uh, give directions to someone to get to Los Angeles. Oh, super exciting. And that's about it. So we're gonna be at 1.26 so if you guessed 1.26 in let's see what the time is 26 minutes and 51 seconds you are the winner 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 chicken dinner and that's it another day in the books 38 in a row so like I said write down in the comments how many days in a row this is for you you want to see those uh, videos of me fighting the rain the last two days I'll put a check the last couple videos I'll put a link to another video if you want to check out any of the other ones I went to Hermosa Beach one time I went to saw a bunch of Lamborghinis and Ferraris in one time I'll go back to that garage soon see what they have new and that's it so subscribe if you like the channel Tell your friends, like it, be back again tomorrow. Bye.